I caught this because you can see it in this light, but right there, 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 there. It looked like somebody wiped these walls with uh, a rag with some chemicals or something that was in it because there's slightly discoloration between this bottom part and this top part. My best guess is because there'd be so much sawdust in here, they just wiped the walls down, but their rags is not clean. So this whole wall will need to be painted. Scuff marks. All these, uh, this is new quarter round. Holes gonna have to be plugged and gaps caught there. There. Nothing was caught in there. There, gaps, gaps. When they caulked the sink in the bathroom, it has some, quite a bit of space here. But anyway, let's caulk up the wall. Put a tape line, straighten this out. Make it aesthetic. You know what? Paint it to the edge of right here. This needs to be caulked. Again, it's the upstairs bathroom. Sand this down a little bit. Paint this access panel. This is the bathroom door, outer. Put some bondo right there. Remove tape from handles. Make sure no paint is on the fixture. Same for this back bedroom. Quarter round, hose plug, and uh, need to be caulked. Wall plate not quite fitting. Caulk it. It'll look better than this. These baseboards got to be repainted in here. Somebody tried to touch that up and the paint didn't blend. Again, caulk a quarter round. Same for the closets. Oh, in this closet, this is the hallway. They did tape up. Remove that tape. Remove the tape and baseboards gonna need to be caulked, holes plugged. Hey, the best way to do this is do not use tape. Put tape on the floor. Paint seems to bleed onto the floor if you're doing that. Take a 12 inch or bigger mud knife and stick it under there, right there, and just use the mud knife as a guide. I'm telling you, that's the only way to keep that paint from bleeding onto the floor because like I said, that tape, it bleeds under where the tape don't adhere very well. All cars are the same. And you touch up, remember this cars, this was painted with CHV. Since we replacing the, I mean, repainting one wall in the master bedroom, plug this hole up. This needs to be caulked back. I don't know how it broke loose from the wall. This is the door wall. You got scuff marks there and there. This was something we missed. Uh, put a second coat on all of these slats. Just the slats. Just the slats. Right here, all of this is good. Just to look like it needs a, probably a third coat. We got this spot in the master bathroom. This was above the mirror, right up in there. This caulk line is a little high. Either give it, tape it off or paint it all the way to the backsplash. Finish off this right here. This is, look, again, these kick plates, all of them need to be done. This is under here. It should be something in the garage right there. Got to match up to this. If not, let me know. I get some jail stain. You got new baseboards down here, new trim. All this stuff need to be caught, holes, nail holes plugged, and painted. Because it's got that flat. Yep. Right here. There's this big gap down the back of this. 
put some kind of backer, shove it down up in here, and level this off with some mud all the way down. That's about 15 feet through here. Again, plug these holes. Feel that gap. Coming down the basement stairs, there's a couple of scuff marks there, there, and there. Also, even though it's sealed, put some caulk in here. Look like you can stick your fingernail here and pull it. Yep. Same for coming down the stairs on the other side right here. Caulk. Make this look a little better, even though the trim piece that fits on top of that came off, like right there. It had like the baseboard behind it, and there's just a quarter round. But make that look better. The new sink didn't quite match up with the old. Sand on this and caulk. You know what? Use some clear silicone right there and sand down these ridge lines. These get painted.